Okay, so I'm back at it with the Drake R4B. And why am I back at it? I thought this was fixed. Well, I watched a video on YouTube of somebody operating this very same radio, a similar R4B, and when he tuned in sideband stations on lower sideband, he put the uh, control to L. So this passband control here, if I can show it, Get some light on the uh, subject here. So this passband control, he would move it to U for upper sideband and L for lower sideband. So on 3.5 and 7, he would use L. And on uh, upper bands, like uh, 20 or 15 or 10, he would use upper. And I thought, that's how it should be. And this one, I never could make it work that way. I was getting lower sideband on the upper and upper and the lower. So anyway, I go to find out that this knob here was on backwards. It was on 180 degrees from where it should be. And let me show you why that might happen. So somebody read the instructions for tuning the radio and put the knob on backwards. Um, here's maybe why. So I'm looking at the manual now for the radio. And let's see where that section is on the, yeah, here it is. So the first thing they say here is passband tuner. Um, one complete revolution and watch the movement of the four slugs in the passband tuner. Okay, make them so the slugs are furthest toward the rear. So that doesn't mean furthest from the rear. It means furthest toward the rear. It means these things should end up toward the rear of the receiver. And I think when people read that, and I was the same, furthest toward the rear, they think it means furthest toward the front, which it doesn't. So anyway, I found that these slugs were, these slugs were 180 degrees out of phase where they should be. So that's probably why my knob was acting a bit jilted, my pass band. So anyway, get some light on here. There, so when you turn the passband, these will these slugs will move in and out. Let me turn it now. Let's see if I can show you these things turning. We're moving. Okay, watch carefully while I turn this. You'll see the slugs move a little bit. Now they're moving in and now they're moving out. So when they're out and toward the back like that. So I'm moving this thing around and I'm making them point out toward the back now. And note where the knob is. The knob has to be pointing to the left from the front of the receiver. So sure enough, um, this knob, yes, is toward the left where it should be. So in my case, it was toward the right. So I'm going through a complete alignment now to get this thing back where it should be. And so what they say here is set the band at 3.5 crystals norm, function to cal, go for a zero beat. So I've done that. And connect the VTVM to test point two, I've done that. There's TP2, there's a VTVM, and what I found was um, they want you to move these slugs to get the maximum negative voltage. So um, you're supposed to put this thing to the middle of the smallest curved line. So here are the curved lines. You can see them here. The small curved line is on the top. Boy, this Apple phone is not set up for diverse light. Okay. So, once again, we move the lighting and change this now to the middle of the smallest curved line there is, which is this one. And now I've gone through this adjustment to get the negative voltage the highest possible, but let's together set this again. That's about the middle of the um, smallest line there. And let's look at the uh, voltage on the VOM here. See what that says now. And get the lighting here again. 
So yeah, I was getting about minus three something out of this thing, but anyway, let me tweak this a little tad. I'm gonna tweak the um, pass bed now a tad and see what it does. So I think it was getting like a minus three out of this thing. Whoa, come on. Okay, well that looks pretty, well, I think I had it pretty peaked, didn't I? Okay, yeah, there's my three. That's about where I had it. Okay, that's pretty high. Let's see where it ended up. So I've tweaked that and it looks it looks fairly good. Yeah, so that's that's in the middle. If I can find it. Yep. That's pretty much in the middle of the line. It's a little skewed to one side, but uh, do I care? Anyway. To fix that, it's close enough for me, for now. For 1024 at night, it's close enough. So, to fix that, you have to tweak all four of these slugs. And I just used needle nose here. And you can just turn these a quarter of a turn, and it's all you need to do. Just Grasp each one gently, quarter of a turn, and that's it, one way or the other. So you can kind of tell that when I was rotating for maximum voltage, I could see that they needed to go out, out this way, out toward the back. So I went quarter clockwise, quarter clockwise on each of these, about, about a fifth of a turn, fourth of a turn, and that's all it took to bring these up to a high negative voltage, which which I was clocking it at about three point, minus three point something here, so. Okay, there's my minus three right there. I wonder if it's drifting or something. Looks like it's changing a bit on me here. Okay, well, if the thing isn't beating, it's different, so. Zero beat it. Okay, zero beat. It's gotta be zero beat, they said. In the manual. Okay, that's peaked there. And that's peaked. And let's see where it is. Yep, it's. It's pretty much straight up. That's good enough for me. So that's how to address that. And the next thing you gotta do then is what? All right, so rotate the pass band horizontally left. So now we gotta look at the pitch of this thing and make sure the pitch is the same from left to right. So. Okay, rotate the pass band knob, line putting the horizontal left, note the pitch, and then go to the right, note the pitch, adjust the small screw in the rear cover. Okay, so the small screw at the rear cover is this guy. Okay, and let's listen to the pitch and see how it sounds. We'll rotate that thing back and forth. So they'll take the slugs all the way out, all the way in, and we'll see how it sounds. Get the volume turned up here a bit for you. And now I'm gonna rotate this thing all the way to the right. Can you hear that? And the left. Can't hear it really at all. So that doesn't work too well. So can we change this to make it work better?
I can't get a sound at this side at all. Not a thing. What if I adjust this for a swishing sound? Oh, no, okay, this does a macro adjustment of the slugs. Wow. So this is just the whole rack. You can see them moving in and out here. Yikes. It adjusts the entire rack. That's interesting. I've probably really whacked this thing out now. What I'll do is take it back to center. And adjust it for the maximum negative voltage. And that's where I had it. So it's better to tune this thing by theory, really, knowing the theory of it instead of just what the factory says to do. I don't like using factory instructions to tune radios, but it's kind of like you're hoping on a prayer. So I'm turning the whole rack now to get it to increase in voltage again. There it goes. That's about where I had it, I guess. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, now. How does that sound? Probably about where it was. Yep. All right, so what I'm probably gonna do is go way back to the alignment here because this knob was on backwards and everything was all screwed up. So I'm gonna redo this whole thing from the beginning and see how it goes. Um, not that. Start up here. Crystal filter and match. Yep, I'm gonna start up here and redo it and see how it goes. So I'll get back to you later. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching.